After continual use, your chair will wear, tear, and scuff. In this video, we will show you how to do repairs on some of the most common issues you may encounter. To replace the lumbar support, simply pull up on both sides of the lumbar to remove. When inserting a replacement lumbar, make sure the teeth of the lumbar align with the chair guides before pushing down on both sides with equal force. Check the top of your chair to ensure you have the correct lumbar size. The number of dots correspond with the size chart. The chair here is the B-sized Aeron and B-sized lumbar. Lumbar tension is adjusted in two ways. Firstly, the lumbar can be flipped on either side, which creates varying degrees of tension. Secondly, tensions can be adjusted depending on how high or low the lumbar is positioned. The default is about one inch from the top of the rails. If the lumbar is too high, it may pop out when someone sits on the chair. In order to replace the arm pad, use a power drill or a screwdriver with a Phillips head to remove two screws as shown. Once removed, the arm pad will easily come off. Old arm pad can be safely discarded. Place the replacement arm pad you received on the frame and align with the screw holes. Use a power drill or screwdriver and screw the new arm pad to the chair as shown. It's important to tighten the screws securely to prevent a loose arm pad. To replace the foam under the seat mesh, simply reach under the chair and pull on the mesh. If the mesh rips, make sure to remove any ripped or stuck pieces. Grab the replacement foam strip and remove the back of the adhesive strip as shown. Slide the foam mesh under the seat mesh, making sure the adhesive is facing down. Make sure the foam aligns evenly with the seat mesh by applying pressure along the entire length of the foam strip as shown. Scuffs on the chair plastic parts can quickly be concealed using the Office Logix touch-up paint available online for purchase. Simply shake the can before applying short sprays of paint to the scuffed plastic area. It's best to do this in a well-ventilated and open area. Applying our touch-up paint will help revive your chair and make it look as good as new. When replacing your casters, Turn the chair on its side and remove the existing casters by pulling on the caster until it comes off. New casters can easily be installed by simply inserting them into each hole. Ensure proper installation by firmly pushing the casters into the hole as shown. Flip the chair on its wheels and test the smooth ride of your new casters. Notice the smoothness of the casters on different materials. 